This is SAT test one, calculator question number 27. College Board gives us data in a table and asks us to interpret the data and answer approximately how many earthworms is a reasonable estimate for the entire 10 meter by 10 meter field, where these are samples of one meter squares. In this case, if you add these numbers up and divide by 10, or put them into list one and then do one variable statistics, you find the mean number of earthworms per square meter, x bar, is 147.1. And if that's the mean, that's close to 150, but that is not what College Board is asking. Total number of earth, earth, earthworms found was 1,471, which is close to 1,500, choice B, but that is also not what they're asking. It's important to read the question carefully and answer the question that College Board is asking. They're asking for a, a reasonable approximation of the number of earthworms for the entire field. The entire field is 10 meters by 10 meters, that's 100 square meters. Since this is a random sample, it's reasonable to assume that this is representative of the entire field. And so with 100 square meters and 147 earthworms per square meter, our approximation is 147 times 100, which is 14,700, 14,710, which is about 15,000. 15,000 is a reasonable approximation to the total number of earth earthworms you would estimate for this field given the sample that we observed. College Board often asks you to draw a conclusion from a sample, survey, or an experiment, and this is the appropriate conclusion for the total number of earthworms in the field. Come back soon for my next math video with math there's always more.